Hello and welcome to the CS Manager training video. I will show you how to use the program to document uh, all controlled substance inventory receipt and dispensation. The URL to access the site is above https csm-rx30.com forward slash login.aspx. When you type that URL in, you'll be taken to this screen, and you likely have an email address that was assigned to you um, for logging into the computer. And this software will let you log in if you've got access rights. So I will log in with demo user. Based on that user ID, it will show you multiple locations. I only have one built for demo user, but if I worked at three or four pharmacies, it would allow me to see all three and I could select the location I wanted to work at that day. Uh, and then you put in your password. It will then take you to the main menu uh, where you can dispense, waste, uh, inventory management, which has many functions in it, uh, report menu, and administrative functions. The benefit of the program is it actually um, allows you to use barcode technology to greatly enhance how quickly you can do functions. Um, and I will show this uh, by doing the first thing you would do when adding a drug to the system, and that is adding it. You only add a drug to the system one time, and then from then on you receive it. So think of this as putting it in the system, and receive is when you get it from a wholesaler on a weekly or daily basis. So we're going to add a drug. Um, based on what you tell us, your drug received from will be auto-populated with your wholesaler. If it's a secondary wholesaler, you can actually pick a different one, but it'll default for most of your uh, procurement. And then you just scan the UPC code on the bottle, and all of the data is populated into the fields. Uh, if this is a purchase, um, you would put an invoice or PO number or a 222 control number, if this is something that you have just, uh, you're starting the system and it's already been on your shelf, you would put existing inventory or just EI for uh, existing inventory. Then it takes you to uh, your starting inventory. That's how many you're going to receive this time. Let's say I've got uh, three bottles of 100, so I've got 300 that I'm adding. Um, the full level is the most you ever want on your shelf. That would be 600. Uh, and let's say I want to reorder this when it gets down to 100. If all of those items are correct, you would hit add item or add item and, ex and accept and add another, which would be, it would retain um, the invoice PO number designations and then you would just scan another bottle. So I'm just going to add this and that is now in our system. So the next thing you might do is receive it. So it's going to be very similar to add, except this is for items that you're, you're getting from the wholesaler. So you have to have an invoice or PO for this function. Um, so I'll scan that same bottle. All of the data is populated from the scan. I'll put in an invoice number, a 222 number, and how many I'm going to receive. So I have 300 from the addition that I just did, and I'm going to receive 200 more. And same thing here, uh, you know, I have a choice of just accepting this transaction or accepting and receiving another. So I'm going to accept it and receive another. Look at the invoice number and the PO, uh, the 222 number. Uh, it'll retain those based on the fact that I said I'm going to do another. So multiple items on the same invoice, you don't have to keep typing that. Uh, if the barcode is, is crumpled and you can't read it, you can select items from a drop-down list. It's not as fast, but you can do it that way. So now that you have um, this item in stock, you can uh, dispense it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like to dispense a drug now. Um, now this barcode is different than the UPC. This is the barcode that is generated from RX30 uh, on the label. 
and it contains the drug, the NDC of the drug, the quantity you're dispensing, and the Rx number. So on uh, an example of this, when I scan it, all of the data elements are populated that you need to dispense a drug. It's literally just scan it and you're done. Um, so when I accept and dispense another, I'm finished. That's how long it took to dispense that item. So the, the barcode is your friend. Uh, if you wanted to do it manually because you don't have a barcode, you have drop down capability here as well. Or you can type in an NDC and it would pull it up as well. Um, you can also leave dispensing notes if you wanted to. Uh, but it's super easy. The, you know, you just scan and, and that's it. Uh, so those are the primary functions there. You can also waste inventory. Let's say um, I wanted to take my drug that I added, but two of the tablets were actually crushed. And so you can put an additional note here. Um, you'll need a witness to do this. So you pick another user and they would have to put in their password to see the accept button here and you can uh, waste it at that point. Uh, so inventory management includes uh, you can view what your current inventory is, all active inventory items that have quantity on hand. You can export this to Excel if you need to. Uh, you can print this, it converts it to a PDF, and you've got your full um, inventory here. We've already seen add new drug and receive drug. You can also issue drugs to reverse distributors. And this is basically like issuing, but you're, you're specifying that the reverse distributor is uh, who you're sending it to, uh, and you'll record uh, you know, basically what drug is either expired or, or some reason why you're sending it to the reverse distributor. Uh, we have electronic inventory verification, which shows you uh, the drug and the last time account was verified. So for these two items, it was verified on 420. You don't have to verify them all at once because you get busy in a pharmacy and you don't have time. Uh, let's say that I looked at this one and actually counted it, and there were 400. So I'm going to click that, and this is uh, acetaminophen, hydrocodone, 300 uh, and 5. So I'm going to accept it. So if I go back into that, it's now at the top of the list because I verified it today. Uh, so this keeps a running tab of, of the last time you verified it. This is good if you have discrepancies because it will point out uh, you know, kind of a line in the sand when you knew the count was a particular number. Uh, you can update an inventory item. Uh, let's pick a drug. If, let's say your full count, you know, 500 wasn't enough. Let's say, you know, I need to order 1,000. This is where you would do that and update the item, and that's all you need. If you needed to change the name, you could. That's pretty rare. I don't think that will happen very often. Um, return to stock. Let's say you fill the C2 and the patient didn't pick it up. You would scan the label on the bottle, just like you do when you're issuing it. It'll populate with all of the data elements, and you put in a note, you know, patient never picked up. And return it. And that's all you need to do there. So this is inventory management. It's all pretty straightforward. The report menu has a list of various reports. You can print your current inventory, which I've shown you from another view, actually. Um, your last verified inventory, so things when they were verified, like right up here it says I verified this on 428. Um, it's got that uh, drug and how many there were. Your below par order report, so that full and uh, reorder point that I was talking about, this tells you how many packages to order to get it back up to full. 
um, Form 222 Seesaw Ordering Report, and this is basically um, all C2s that have been ordered. Uh, administration might want to see this, and it gives you details about when and, and how often and what invoice number, all of the details related to that. Uh, you can search things that were dispensed, and it'll show you the NDC, the RX number, who dispensed it, and the date. And then your all activity report shows you everything that's happened in the system. And it's a, it's a large report, so you probably want to filter it by just showing dates. So I'm going to filter this with just this time frame, and it should just show me what I've done in this demo, which is basically logged in, added a drug, received a drug, dispensed a drug, verified inventory, updated inventory, and returned a, a drug. So everything that happens is, is documented and logged. And that is basically it. You can take any of these reports and filter them so you don't see everything, but you, you, you know, only want to look for one drug in a certain date range or a user, then you can filter it accordingly. Uh, administrative functions, you have to have administrative rights to do this. Um, you can correct inventory count here. It's going to ask for um, a specific reason why, and you have to have manager rights to get to it. But let's say it wasn't 400, it was 390, and because, uh, you know, a, a, a count was logged twice or whatever reason, and then you can adjust the inventory. But it will log that. So be sure and be very detailed in the reason why. Uh, user maintenance, this is where you would go to add new users, edit current information, uh, reset a password. If someone got married and their last name changed, you can go into update user and change their last name or inactivate a user. This is pretty common user maintenance functionality. Uh, pharmacist C2 utilization report. So this shows everything that I have done today. Uh, you can basically see if someone's um, doing more C2s than you think they should, if it's supposed to be divvied up e equally among pharmacists. Um, you know, if one guy's doing 80% of the C2s, that's kind of a red flag usually, but um, that's the purpose of this report is it just shows you what, what you've done. This script count is handy if, if you've got, you know, four triplicates and I've only filled three today, that means I forgot to enter one and I need to go find it. So it's a good audit tool at the end of the day. Uh, again, you can filter these um, you know, by a date range. So if I wanted to see how many scripts I've filled in a week, uh, I would set it back a full week as opposed to uh, just the one day that it defaults to. And that's pretty much all of the functions within the workspace. Um, these are, again, what I said, quick launch buttons, so it takes you to where you want to go quickly. If, if you wanted to dispense something from anywhere in the system, you click that and you're right there. So that concludes the training video. Uh, as always, if there's a question, email or contact us, uh, and we will be happy to answer any questions. Thank you very much.